Hi, today we're going to talk about exact payments and uh, making change. Let's say you did some shopping and your purchase amount is $17.65 and you paid for your purchase with a $20 bill. Now since you paid more than the purchase amount, obviously you should get some money back. That is called making change. We can uh, do a subtraction here, but that's not the fastest way. That's not the best way. But we're going to do it first to show you what I mean. Now, zero take away five, you can't do that. You can borrow from zeros. So this is the way we're going to re rearrange. So that would be one. This becomes 10. Uh, we have to borrow from that 10, nine. Same idea, we just go down. So that's 10. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 6 is 3. 9 take away 7 is 2. So I should get $2.35. Let's see how much faster it is, how much more efficient it is to do it by counting up from $17.65 to $20. It's quite easy. Uh, the way you do it is you want to make sure you get a multiple of 25 there. You're counting to the next 25. Uh, remember 0, 25, 50, 75. If you count by 25, those are um, multiples of 25. Okay, so we want to go to 75. That's the next 25. So um, to do that, all I need is a dime. So that's uh, 65 becomes 75. Now I have to add a quarter, so that's uh, eighteen dollars exact. When you add this and this, you get eighteen dollars exact. All I need is a twenty. Yeah. So I got the same amount, and I was explaining, and it, it took m much less. And if you have the money right in front of you, it's quite easy, and you don't make mistakes. Uh, Two dollars thirty-five cents, same amount. Let's move on. To the next example let's say same amount but you want to pay uh, the exact amount so you don't get any change back so 1765 let's see how different it is so you want to go with the highest value bill possible without going over obviously you can do 20 that's going over I can do 10 so that's ten dollars that's fifteen dollars seventeen dollars sixty five I'm just going down in value, right? So 25, I can, ha I can have another quarter, 50, 60, 65. So that's exact payment. Let's move on to the next example. Let's say your purchase amount is 34.30. Um, you want to pay with two $20 bills Sometimes you just have to pay with what you have in your pocket. Uh, so let's say you have two $20 bills. And so that's $40. So you should get some change back. So how do you do that? Well, remember what I said. Count up from here to here. 30, you want to make the next 25. So um, 10 would do it. So that's 40 and that's 50. Once I have 50 cents here, remember adding this and this is 50 cents. Now I'm going to add the other 50 cents to make the dollar, the next dollar. So two quarters will do that. So here you are. So now I have $35. So right there. Always good to double check. So I have um, here 30 plus this 20 makes 50 cents. 50 cents. Another 50 cents is a dollar up, so that's 35 plus 5 is 40. Now let's move on to the next example. Again, we're doing exact payment, um, so you shouldn't get uh, any change back. So if I'm doing that, I'm going to go to the highest value bill possible and work down my way. So can I do 50? No. Can I do 20? Yes. So $20. Can I do another 20? No, I will go over 10, yes, 30, $34. So two 20s will do that. 
$34.30. I can do a quarter, but not a loonie. Can I do another quarter? No, I'll go over. So 25, can I do a dime? No, I'll go over. That will be 35. Can I do a, a nickel? Obviously I can. So that's exactly 30 cents. Let's move on to the next uh, example. The $50 bill is a pinkish color. Here you are. So your purchase amount is 42.45 and you wanna figure out what the change is because if you pay more, you should get uh, the rest of your money back. Now we're going to do the same method counting up 42.45. We wanna round this, we wanna go up to the next uh, 25, which is a five. I need the five in there. That makes it 50 cents. Then two more quarters makes it a whole dollar. So that's the next dollar, which is $43 here. If I have $43, now, how do I do that? I go straight to two, that would be 45, and that would be 50. So it's double check again. So this one makes it 42, 50, 43, 45, and 50. Let's move on to the next example. We'll do just a few more example, and I think by the end you should uh, be able to do it on your own. Okay, 42, 45, exact amount. Uh, so you shouldn't get any change back if you pay exactly. So here, 42, 45. Can I do with 50? No, that's, that's going over. So can I do with 20? Yes, two, two of them I need. Can I do three? No, we'll go over. 42, any of these? No, I need a 20. 20, I have two 20s and a 20, that's 42. I have that. I need 45 cents, 25 cents, 35 cents, 45 cents. Dimes are 10 cents each, so that's like counting by 10. Let's move on to the next example. Your purchase amount is 13.50. You paid with three $5 bills. Again, remember, you don't always have all the bills in your pocket, in your wallet. You sometimes pay with what you have. So let's say three $5 bills, that's $15. $5 bills are blue, by the way, you can see them here. $15, the amount is $13.50. You pay too much, you need to get your change back. Now, this is easy because that's 50. So all I have to do is add two quarters and that makes it the next dollar up. So that's $14 now. And a loony makes it 15. So this is um, the change you should get back right here. Uh, that is $1.50. So $1.50 plus $13.50 should give you $15, and that's correct. Let's move on to the next one. In this example, your purchase amount is $85.70, and you paid with a 50 and uh, two $20 bills. So that's uh, $90. You gave the cashier, let's say, um, $90, and you want to get the rest of your money back, your change back. Um, we do it the same way we did before. We're gonna count up from this amount to this amount. 70, we wanna go to the next 25, which is 75. Uh, I need a nickel, which is a five cent coin, so that makes it 75. Then it's easy just to add a quarter. And uh, so that's 86. You wanna go to 90, I need $4 more. 86, 88, and 90. Let's move on. So your change is uh, $4.30. Let's move on to the next. You have two tens and a 50, so Let's say 50 here and two tens. So that is 70. And your purchase amount is 66.85. Remember I, what I said, you have to make this uh, uh, the next uh, 25. In this case is zero. Um, we passed 75. So here you are, we're going to add a five in there, that's 90. That's the next dollar, which is $67. 67, and 
68 and 70 so I have three dollars and 15 cents that's the change this is what you gave the cashier here is the money that the cashier will give you back this one uh, paying with a hundred dollar bill a lot of stores don't like that they might not even accept it but uh, um, let's see how you do that um, 88.95 your purchase amount $100 bill so you need to get some money back remember what we said here we count up and we want to make it to the next uh, 25 which is 0 25 50 75 in this case is 0 adding a nickel will make that into the next dollar which is 89 right 95 cents and 5 cents is one whole dollar so that's 89 so that I need a loony to make it what 90 now a $10 bill now you should not be giving uh, coins here because you have um, a $10 bill people don't like to have lots of coins in their pocket so fewest number of coins uh, and bills possible and that's the way cashiers do it too because they don't want to run out of uh, coins and uh, bills in the in their till in their um, cash register so let's go on to the next one hundred twenty five dollars and fifty five cents and you paid with a hundred dollar bill and a fifty dollar bill so hundred fifty dollars you need to get some money back so how do you do that you count up again from here to 150 so um, remember what I said you want to make it into the next 25 how do we do that though okay the next 25 is 75 so it's easy you don't want to use nickel you want to use dimes so that's 65 75 that's the reason it's faster to get to uh, 75 with dimes here so 75 and then you add a quarter that would make it 126 now 126 to two knees would make it what any ideas well obviously uh, it's uh, 130 right so you need $20 also this is your change and so your change is $24 and 25 35 45 cents let's move on to the next uh, and this is going to be our last one I think that's good enough for now uh, your purchase amount is 2375 you paid with a 20 and a 5 so here we are $25 you paid too much the cashier must give you some money back um, so 2375 we're going to count to 25 so how do we do that it's already round to uh, 75 right so I do, all I have to do is put a quarter in there to make it to the next dollar amount so $24 with this one this this is going to be 24 I want to go to 25 all I need to add is a loony thank you so much for watching and uh, it's good to practice and uh, uh, this is actually easy to do if you have the coins in front of you. Uh, I wish we were at school. We could practice these together uh, using uh, Play Money. Um, thank you so much for watching and take care and always uh, learn. Bye. Take care.